Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I thought I'd show how to um, epoxy a bottle cap. Um, all you need is a plain, or you can use um, a used bottle cap if you get it nice and flat, or leave it dented for the distressed look. A one inch punch and your favorite bottle of um, dimensional adhesive, and an image. Um, so I'm going to use this little gal here, I think she's kind of funny, um, and all you do is I like to let them, um, once you do it, I, I like to let it dry for about an hour, uh, 24 hours, just so you're not touching or bumping, or because it does need to set. So. Just take your image and punch it out wherever you want it. And then do a layer of glossy, well, I'm using glossy accents. So do a layer of that on your, and what I do is I do a little bit like this. And then I kind of just use my finger and spread it around on this side of it. Um, it's okay if you get like, little finger marks onto this part, but the other part you want to just use the applicator nib or tip and set your picture down and then just make sure, oops, just make sure she's on there. Kind of just want to press down all around. Almost do like a steamroller on her with your finger. Okay, so you just want to make sure that there's no bubber, bubbers, bubbles in the paper. Okay, get in view there. And then do a light, light, not a light, but a good coating of glossy accents. And this you want to get it all around the top because you kind of want it to look like an epoxy coating. You want to bring it right out to the edges of the image so that there's no gap of where the paper will stick out. And if you're lucky, you won't have too many bubbles to contend with. Because you do want to bust, bur burst the bubbles. But I'm looking pretty good on this, so um, let me just take a quick close-up peek. Now there's just one little bubble on her nose and then there's a little area down here that I kind of didn't get with the glossy accents. Okay, so I'm going to do a close-up here for you. There. So there she is. i got to figure out. Okay, there. So there she is and I really don't see I'm going to just poke one little bubble here with the pin. There, oops. There. Oh, I keep saying there and then I don't. It keeps making two bubbles. Finally, there, okay. Okay, so there she is. Oops, where is she? There she is. And I'm going to give her 24 hours to dry. And I just kind of... And she will be ready to place on a card or anywhere you want. Scrapbook, page, there. I'm using a new camera, so I'm kind of... <laughs> but that's all you have to do. And then I will um, um, post a video on my... Or a photo on my blog of how she turned out. So thanks for watching, and I hope you try this. It's really easy and fun. Thanks. Bye. This is Roxy, and I just wanted to show... Uh, the end result of the bottle cap and so here is 
the glossy look of the bottle cap. And you can see it's just really nice and clear. And so then you can, okay, you can just um, use this as an embellishment or put a little, um, drill a little hole in the top and use it as a charm piece. So that's this one and then I did another one with a little cat with a wig on and I'm gonna find that now. It's hard to see. Oh, my, my icky nail I had to cut. There, there it is. So I hope you try this. It's pretty fun and very simple. Thanks a lot. Bye.